Hello there, everybody. This is Grant Wilson as the Collector 75. Welcome to another Transformers Robots in Disguise review. And this is one that I was going to get at TF Nation and then didn't bother because it was £20. I knew it was £18 in Smith's. And had been reported that it was £10 in Tesco's. But could I find it in Tesco's? No. So I, I originally didn't get it. This is, of course, the Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Bludgeon. Now, um, this is a retool of Megatronus, the deluxe version, and a repaint of, what's his name? Is it Blast Wave? Um, which is obviously going to be him. I, I only got Blast Wave because at the time I thought, well, I saw it and I really liked it and I wanted it. And I actually didn't think that they were going to make Bludgeon because sometimes they, they do these, you know, uh, mold mate. And sometimes they don't actually come out with the actual other figure. Sometimes, very rarely, but they don't. So I wasn't too sure if he was going to come out. And then I hadn't heard nothing. So I'll get Blast Wave. Um, and he was cool. He was all right. Um, and then this guy did come out. And I was in Smith's the other day trying to get something for my son, which I couldn't get. So I, thought, I saw him and I thought, well, do you know what? I'm just going to get him because I regret it if I don't. So, yes. So I did buy him. Now, I can't remember if I said it before, my Megatronus review or my, um, I'm sure if you blast over, I can't remember. But this would make so easily a good Straxus toy, because if you remember the old G1 Straxus out of the comics, he had a mode almost similar to this. He had, I think it was two side sort of like, a bit like Galvatron in a way, so like two side things and maybe a third one, either from the front or the back, and then a just a giant cannon on top. Very much reminiscent of this. So it wouldn't be that hard. Just a few mold tweaks here and there. Give us a Strax. It's better than that Generations Dark Mount or wherever he was. I mean, he was all right, but he could have been so much better. But either way, that is my ultimate aim for this toy. I would love if they did do that, but I've got a feeling they won't. But anyway, we did get this, a bludgeon toy, and you cannot go wrong with a bludgeon toy. He, you know, the turret moves, and that is as good as you're going to get. He's got a like, couple little wheels, so he does manoeuvre. But that is it. He's a good, fun little toy. And let's remember that these Robots in Disguise toys are aimed at a slightly younger um, toy buying public than the mainstream, like me and you, the majority of the people who are actually watching this video. But there we go. Um, so he is a little basic, um, very hollow in places, um, but other, and still very pricey. Um, I love it how they do that. Anyway, right, let's transform him now. You can keep the guns on. Um, I can't remember exactly how to transform him. We'll just sort of move and start moving bits about. That's probably the easiest way. They're going to come down here. That's going to form his uh, feet. Uh, so we're just going to rotate that down. I do like the way this guy transforms. I do like it a lot. That's going to become form his little knee pad. I like that. Uh, then they're going to disconnect out of there like so. And then you can bring these down, rotate these down. They're going to become his legs. And we're virtually there. Uh, we're going to split these at the arms. If you can split them, that is. Um, oh, maybe you've got to disconnect them. I can't remember. There we go. So anyway, right, so let's stand him back up. Right, so we move these out to the side. You're going to rotate his head up, providing it wants to stay on the little uh, little joint for some reason. I don't know why mine doesn't. Yeah. Um, there we go. So anyway, you can rotate that up and then get his arms in the right position. Like so, bring them around. Um, and then what we're going to do, rotate those up. I like the shoulder pads, very tank reminiscent. I like that. Uh, then we're going to rotate that around. That gives him his little forearm and another one there. And there we have Bludgeon in his rover mode. And it is cool. I like it. Now you can do what you want with this. I like to angle it down, um, but you can angle it up, I believe, just by taking it out slightly. And he can hold it in his hand as a weapon. Um, it's all right like that. Um, but, well, you're supposed to close that up, aren't we? Um, but Bludgeon doesn't really have guns up there, I believe. So I usually just angle them down out of the way. Like so, he does come with a little sword, which you could attach into his vehicle form, but I can't get it to go right. Um, and it's a nifty little sword. Um, there we go. And that is Bludgeon. Now, I don't know if the colours are exceptionally bludgeon-esque um but he looks pretty cool nonetheless and but 
he's a bit pricey, isn't he? But he's cool. He's got his little Decepticon insignia. And he's got a cool little, very, very skeletal reminiscent. I like that. Um, but he's all right, you know, as figures go. And there's a couple of cool little figures in this Robots in Disguise line. Not many, but there's a couple of little hidden gems, this being one of them. Again, I'd love a Straxus. I really would. Um, but he's pretty cool. If you can find him, um, try and get him. Um, he could have done a few more paint apps and stuff like that. Um, there's the back. Um, it's, it's, it's quite a cool little figure. Right, this has been Graham, the Collector 75. Um, I shall see you all next time. Don't forget to like this video if you like it. And of course, you can leave a comment, <clears throat> subscribe and support my channel using the links below. And of course, um, it's always good to check out my playlists because I do lots of different videos. Anyway, right, this has been Graham, the Collector 75. I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.